Wow, how I did get here. And now what I can do? What's this? This is a cave and today I will spend 24 hours here. First of all, you need to explore the cave. This cave is very ancient and deep enough. The stones near the entrance are cracked and in general it's better to be quiet in such places so that nothing collapses. Let's find out what we have with us. I have a knife in one pocket, since this tool is the most important. And in the second a steel flint. This is such a device for making fire. It's much more reliable than matches, because it cannot get wet and damp. But kindle a fire with it is a little more difficult. Well, we don't have anything else with us. Despite this, you need to equip yourself with an overnight stay. And for it, you need to choose the most reliable place in the cave. And this is the corner. This is where we will make the bed. It's time to get out of the cave in search of material for a few future bed. And I immediately heard some noise. I moved towards the sound. And it turned out to be a river. Everyone knows that reeds and other plants that we need now grow in such places. I take a knife and cut off as many reeds and other suitable branches as possible. We take it all and return to the cave. Put it all in a corner and level it a little. We didn't do much with the bed, but despite this it came out quite comfortable. And now we will have a place where you can lie down at night and relax, but still rest early. I returned to the river in search something useful. And on the shore I noticed a can of Coca-Cola, with which we will replenish our water supplies. We collect it directly from the river. Except for a can of cola, I notice a tin can. We will also take it with us, extra will not. On the way to the cave, I notice an apple tree full of apples. I pick it a few for myself and let's try them. But they turned out to be a mature. But at the entrance to my current house, a small tree with ripe cherries grow. And I began to collect them. I pick up quite a few cherries and went back to the cave to eat. The berries were very tasty, especially since they have a lot of vitamins and I ate very much. But because of the heat we were very thirsty. We have water from the river, but it must be boiled before drinking. At the entrance to the cave of stones we lay out a place for a fire. Collect dry leaves, put them inside, and we also need dry small twigs. Just put them inside and try to kindle a fire with a flint and a knife. I tried to light a fire for a very long time, and after a couple of dozen attempts, I managed to light a fire. Now you need to put more dry leaves, and thin sticks on top. And when the flame is already bigger, you can throw more firewood. We put the jars that we found earlier on the fire and fill it with water collected from the river. We give the water time to boil and remove it from the fire. Now we need the water to cool down and after that we can drink it.
I drank some water and again went out to the river. Since lunch was coming soon, I needed something to eat. And sitting on the bank of the river, I noticed some movement in the water. Let's try to catch a fish. And I will do it with a spear. For it you need to find a long, even stick. Then we clean it from knots and twigs. And also the thin ends needs to be parted into four parts. Sharpen this end. And with the help of two packs open our spear. I went into the river, to a shallow depth and began to walk and look for fish. I noticed a few fry, but unfortunately did not have time to catch them. But while fishing I noticed a float on a branch. I took it out and sat on the shore to unravel this fishing line. And there was also a weight, like a hook. It remains to break a long stick and tie a fishing line to its end. The fishing rod is ready. It remains to get the bait somewhere. Near the shore I noticed a bunch of rotten grass. I took a stick and began to dig. I managed to find one worm. I decided to dig a little more and collected a couple more worms. We move out to a quiet place, put the bait on the hook and cast the bait. We didn't have to wait long. After 5 minutes such a small fish packed, followed by two small perches. Now we will have something to eat. We clean our fish from the insides, as well as from the husk. Make a fire and put a flat stone on it. Put the fish on it and cook. After 20 minutes dinner was ready. And I have never eaten such delicious fish. Also there was not much of it, but I am full. After a meal I put out the fire and moved back to the cave. I was very tired and went to bed. And so I slept almost until evening. I ate some cherries. And when I returned from fishing, I noticed a mint bush on a stump, cut it off a bit and took it with me. We put the jar on the fire and pour water. Add a couple of fresh mint leaves to it. Let our tea boil for 10 minutes and can be removed from the heat. I really love mint tea and the salt that it's made by hand make it much tastier. After drinking tea I lay down on the bed and try to fall asleep. But because of the noise of the river I spent back and forth for a long time. But then I still fell asleep. In the morning I woke up because it became cool. But still fell asleep for 2 hours. In the morning I saw this message, which contains the coordinates of my house, to which I immediately move forward. 